Hi guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Um, I have a haul video for you guys today. Um, it, uh, it might take a minute to go through everything, so sit back, relax, have a drink. If you are new to my channel, I want to welcome you. If um, you are one of my old subscribers, welcome back and welcome back friends so we will get started first thing i wanted to show you guys so i was able to reorder my ohuhus if you remember in my last haul i opened this and it was full of used bic permanent markers okay so i had called amazon they gave me my money back and i reordered and then i got the right thing now, so these are Ohuhu acrylic markers. They look like this. So at first I thought, oh, these look dry because the paint wasn't moving around in them. You shake them like this. And I've already tested several of them and they're not dried out. They actually do work. I just was surprised that the paint didn't go back and forth. It just looks dried out, but it, they do work. So yeah see how the ink doesn't move they do work though let me get a piece of paper and I'll show you I can find a piece of paper so this one's not um, pumped yet but I shaked it already and you push down the thing and then you can color with them. So they do work. And I'll do another one just so you guys can see. Here's like a peachy pink color. You push down and you can actually see the ink go down the chamber until it hits. This one's not quite down all the way. Maybe I didn't shake it enough. coming there it comes priming these priming any paint marker takes a little bit of time my daughter's in the background that's what you hear so I don't think that's quite primed enough it's not as but there's that one this one probably could be primed a little bit more. My daughter has a cold. So that are that is these um, the paint markers. I really wanted to get some paint markers because uh, you know those Thomas Kincaid Disney coloring books? They really are more for, I don't know, you can color them, but I kind of feel it's better to use paint and paint markers and layer upon each other to create a painter-like look with his suggestive line work. So that is these. Um, a thing that just came today, and I want to thank Debbie from Color Me Stress Free. She had these on her channel. It was um, basically some pencils that she said, could they be like... Um, the Holbein pastels. So she had gotten these and she had tested them out and they're very comparable to the Holbein pa pastels, but a lot more affordable. And so I asked her where you get them or what the link is. And the link was a Polish website. I was a little nervous because I live in the U.S. and I didn't know if they would even come to me, but they do come into the U.S. and I was able to order these. They took about two and a half weeks to get here. So I can't wait to pull these out. They just came in the mail this morning. So I haven't even unwrapped them from the plastic. But they're 50 um, pastel colored pencils. So that is these. And they're Kritiki. Can't read that word. Pastello. 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> pastel color pencils. So those will be exciting to try. Now, um, Crayola has a sale going on. I don't know if it's still going on on Amazon, but I think so. It's for Mother's Day. All of their Crayola Signature, most of their Crayola Signature brands are on sale. So if you like Crayola Signature and you like their tins and things like that, check them out on Amazon. I picked up some things. Um, I got these, the liquid metallic craft markers. These are, you have to pump just like those paint pens and then you push them down. And there is a total of six markers in here. Looks like they give you a rose gold, a silver, a gold, a bronze, a titanium, and a copper. And it's really fun to use these, especially on like steampunk pictures or anything that has like metal elements. So those will be fun. And I think these will be fun to use in the Hannah Carls, uh, Hannah Carls in books. Um, the next thing that I got that was part of that deal, just move some things. were these um so these at the start of my coloring journey i i saw these and um i didn't like see very many people use them on youtube or anything and i thought well they suggest these for adult coloring and i never got them never got them and then i finally decided when they went on sale that i would pick them up and they are the 40 fine line markers from Crayola and they're recommended for adult coloring, especially for like mandalas. And they have all these colors. Now you can get the regular fine, fine point um, Crayola markers, but I don't think they come with this many colors. And so I thought this might be a good one to maybe do the X method or finer details or even books that are smaller, like maybe going into romantic country that have the smaller things that is double-sided because these are water-based markers. And these are these should still be on sale. So I got those. Um, the next thing that was on the sale is this. Um, they are the pearlescent acrylic paint uh now a subscriber asked me if i had ever tried these and would love to see me try these sometime and i i put them on my wish list but i was like eh, i don't know if i want to pay that much money and then when they went on the mother's day sale i thought now's a good time to try them out so they're acrylic it's acrylic paint and tubes and you get all these different colors uh, just to try out. I'm sure the tubes aren't that big. I haven't even taken it out of the tin, but it's fun to use acrylic paint in your coloring books, um, especially to do the layering effect. I kind of like to do that in my mythographic bo books and stuff. So yeah, there's 16 um, small tubes of paint in here. I haven't opened yet. And it says includes mixing trays for easy blending, which is nice. The next thing that I got um, in the tin was the signature detailed du dual tip markers. And they have kind of like, it kind of looks like a super tip end and then a finer end right here. And I have used these before. They're very comparable to Crayola Super Tips. And um, there's, it says there's 32 colors, but there's, how it works is one end is one color and then the fine end is another color. So brick red and lobster red. And I've noticed that the finer point is the lighter color. I almost wish this was reversed so that the lighter color was the bigger point so you can use a darker color to outline but it's still a really fun mark to use um especially if you do art journaling or bullet journaling and you can also use them like a crayola super tip and it comes in this really nice tin so 
I want to say these were on sale for like $8 or $8.50 or something like that. The next one that I got was this one. Now, I've seen these on a few channels, and I love um, gel crayons and stuff. So I thought, since these were on sale, I would try them. They're the pearlescent cream sticks. Uh, you can blend dry or wet, very similar to gel crayons. Um, so it comes with 10 cream sticks. And the colors are red, golden yellow, sky blue, violet, black, orange, emerald, blue bolt, magenta, and white. I'm not sure how well the white will do. Um, I don't know if you would need like a black paper to really make the white work out. But I want to try these and see what I think. I want to compare them to the other gel sticks I own just to see what I think. And since these were on sale, I decided I would pick them up as well. And that I love these tins that they come in. So that's awesome. And if you ever just want those Crayola tins, they do sell those by themselves, by the way. And then the last one that I got for the Crayola cell were these. Um, now, these it says 16 blending markers. So these are alcohol markers. Um, I believe I saw these. Jazza, um, if you guys know Jazza on YouTube, he did like this big marker challenge where he compared almost every brand of marker. There was like thousands and thousands of markers. And he did these and they're very comparable to some of these big name brands like Copics and Ohuhu Brush and things like that. And he said the only downside to this particular marker is there's just not enough colors. And since they were on sale and I like brush tip markers, I thought, oh, these might be fun to get, especially if I want to use them in maybe a color by number. Obviously, some color by numbers have more than 16 colors, but um, it might be a more affordable option. And here is the back. So it just has your basic colors, red, yellow, green, blue, violet, bubblegum, slate, orange canary so it has two yellows which is great and it has two greens oh it looks like it's like they have complements so there's like a wisteria which is a which is nice with the violet and they have a peach so there is a skin tone and a black and it says that there's two colorless blenders which I don't understand the point of that I would have rather had two whole colors honestly than two colorless blenders. I'll use color bl colorless blenders occasionally, but I would prefer colors than the blenders. So that is these, the blender markers. All right, and then I'm gonna show you the other art supplies that I picked up, and then we'll move on to the books. I picked up these. Um, I have the small set of 12. Uh, these are water-soluble oil pastels. You can use them wet or dry. Um, I like to use them similar to gelatos and gel crayons and like Neocolor 2s. They give a different feel than like Neocolor 2s and Lyra aqua colors, and crayons and stuff like that because they are oil pastels. Um... I, I do really like them and it felt like the 24 set was never on sale and or it was never in stock so when I saw that they were back in stock I needed to get them and um, how they work is you can lay them on the paper and you can add water to them or if you are too scared to add water to your pages because you don't want them warped you can just use your finger and buff it out and if you don't like your fingers getting dirty, you can get those um, rubber fingertips from the dollar store and you can rub it out with those too. And so this is really, these are really neat. And there is the back. See how it says, um, it's great for large areas. So if you have a big background that you need to cover, yeah. 
And you can um, put pencil over these, I believe, if I remember right. The next thing I picked up were these. These are the Koi watercolors. This is the like the pocket set. So I have I have the original set of Koi watercolors. I actually have a pocket one and a full one. And I really like the watercolor paint. So it's from Sakura. And these ones are metallic, pearlescent, fluorescent, um, different colors. So here's the colors right here. And so it kind of has different colors that aren't in the original set. And I didn't know they made this. And I found them on Amazon. And I was like, oh, that's cool. I love these um, watercolors. It would be neat to get these colors as well. So I picked these ones up as well. The next thing that I got is I picked up the King's Art um, Media Gel Sticks. Now I have the King's Art Regular Media Gel Sticks. These ones are the metallic colors. So these are all metallic. If you buy the basic um, one, it only comes with a silver and a gold, but these ones are all metallic colors. I really like to use the gel sticks for mixed media backgrounds, and so I pick these ones up. So this has gold, copper, bronze, red, pink, purple, violet, light blue, blue, green, light green, and silver. So, a pretty good variety, and I do like metallic, um, the metallic gelatos, but this is so much more affordable, and you get a lot more in the tube than in your gelato tube. So, that's this one, and then I also grabbed this one. Um, these ones are all the pastel colors, and I do have a few pastels in the regular set, but now I can have all of the King's Art gel sticks. So now I have all of them. And um, this way I can have whatever color I need. And you can use them uh, like a Distress Ink effect with a blender brush. You can use them like smudging it with your finger. You can add water to them. Create a nice wash background. They're really nice. If you add water, obviously the colors will be diluted. But um, yes, you can also blend them within each other. Just make sure they are, they're well blended before you close your book because you don't want it to transfer to the other side but if you have a single page or single single sided book then you don't have to really worry about that but that are that is what these are so i got this and the other one so now i completed my set of the king's art gel sticks and then the last supply item that i got is, well, I guess it technically counts as two because I got this case for them. Um, this is just a flamingo case and it was on sale for like $14 or something like that. And I got the Star Joy pencils. I, I heard, I keep hearing mixed reviews on the Star Joy pencils and I'm not one to go against bargain pencils. I, if you can find a bargain pencil that works wonderful, then that is great. Um, if I heard that these are very comparable to so many different things. And so I tried them out just a little bit on a piece of paper. I didn't even sharpen them. I just tried it out just a little bit and they seem to be okay. I need to give them a, a real run through to see how I really feel about them. But um, for the for the price, it is a good basic colored pencil. And if you need something to basically fill in the gaps and you use your fancier pencils to do in the details, you definitely want like what they call a go-to pencil or even in your Amazon books that you're not really trying to save that book for generations. You're just coloring just to color. 
yeah, sometimes you just need a go-to pencil. And I think the Star Joys have selection that is huge and you can do a lot with it. Now, I don't know about debris. I don't know if it leaves a lot of debris or not. I noticed that the Mark Art does. I got those in my last haul. And I have been struggling with the Mark Art ones in um, Maria Troll's book. But um, I'm eager to try these and see what I think about these ones as well. And of course, I needed a case because I can't put them in that tin anymore. <laughs> All right, moving on to the books. Now, the first one was Happy Mail. Um, I was actually surprised when I opened my mailbox and I received this beautiful book. Um, this is from Monet, The Coloring Diva, here on YouTube. Um, this is one of her favorite books, and um, she so kindly sent this to me, and I am very, very grateful. Thank you so much, Monet. I am eager to try this because I've seen a lot of people have this book, and they really like it. And I liked Color Grayscale, and so, yeah. This is called Rose Windows Coloring Book by Joel, Joel Averin, and... It basically has mandalas that um, are grayscaled. And I noticed that when people color them, they just color them with their alcohol markers or permanent markers. And they really just pop off the page and looks really neat. So I am eager to try one of these and kind of get a feel for it. I have this feeling I'll really like it and then I'll finish the book and then there won't be another one out there because I have never seen another one like this particular book on the market. So I want to thank um, Monet again for sending me this book. That was very sweet of you. The next books are all by the same artist. So, let me find out who the artist is first. Mm. I am not sure who the artist was. So, these are all from the same artist. And I saw these on YouTube. Well, I saw this one on YouTube. And then after... Um, I searched it I looked to see what other books they did and this one let's see who, I'm trying to figure out who it's by I know they're all by the same company I think it's like Acker Doodle or something like that could Akati Doodle yeah I'm not I can't remember for sure. And it says on the back, but I don't want to open that up and show it to you guys because there's a scan thing and I don't want someone to scan my free book. So, um, yeah. <laughs> this is Kawaii Doodle Cuties Animal Coloring Book for kids with letters from A to Z. So this is like a doodle coloring book. And there's like little cutesy things like this. That's space one. And this one's a sea turtle. And this is Amazon printed paper, by the way. And then on the back, you actually have letters of the alphabet. And I love these type of things where you can color the letters. So there's A, here we have B, and they also have the lowercase letters too. So there's a lowercase B, and there's D, there's J for my name, so. Yeah, I just thought it was really cute, and these images are really chibi cute cutesy like which is very fitting for um the hashtag that i'm co-hosting um cute chibi summer so that goes from may until july with sophie's coloring journey so that is this one kawaii doodle cuties the next one was also by the same artist they did an anime coloring book and i like to color anime so I picked up this one. This one, I don't know. It's almost like 
it's been cut off right here. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so it's cute anime girls though. Um, fun. It's one of those that I need to color in to see what I think of it. And if I don't like it, maybe we'll go in the donation pile. But I need to literally Let's color go. in it and see if I feel if I feel it. Because sometimes that's what it is. I do really like anime characters, though. Um, the last one I got was the chibi anime one. And that's perfect for the chibi hashtag. And I love chibi, so... See, this one, they're more fully framed into the frame. So, I like it better. No, these girls are different. Some of them are different looking. Like, they don't have a neck. Like, she doesn't have a neck. And, like, this mouth makes her look more animalistic than... Yeah. Just fun, cute, chibi style coloring book. All right. I have like debris because I was using pencils and I don't place debris. So, a new release. You guys probably haven't seen this one yet. If you have, woohoo! So, this is um, kind of warped, but that's okay. It's Color and Oceans Mermaids. It's by the same person that does Color and Chicks. So Daria Draws. But um, this is Grayscale Coloring Book. Her name is Daria. Kak I think it's Kakurasoi. And um, this is perfect for Mermaid. And I, when I found out about this, I had to pick it up because I love her work. It's almost one of those artists that I'm going to have to collect the collection because I just love, love the work. I'm a little intimidated to color in these, but the images are fantastic. I just need to dive in and color one of these pictures. And she gives you a directory as well. So this is Color and Ocean's Mermaids. The next one I actually had ordered, um, not on Amazon. I ordered it from the Jane F. Hankins website. Right now she has a 20% off deal. So um, I think... I think you type in code 20 and you get 20% off. Or maybe it's already added to the cart when you check out. So you can, um, if you felt like her books were really expensive and not affordable to you guys, um, now is a good time to order one if you're interested because of that percentage off. And so I chose this one. Um, it's hard to choose which one because I've never really colored in hers. And I wanted to have one that I knew I would enjoy. So I just kind of had to pick one at random. This is the Imaginary Forest. And the paper's super thick. Almost like cardstock. And it is perforated. And I love that it's spiral bound. That way if I want to, I can just open it up like this and color. Which makes it a good couch book. <laughs> Like that one with the mushroom characters. I like that one a lot. You could make this one a fall one or you could make it a springtime one. And she has like this sketchy approach. So that is this one, Imaginary Forest of Jane F. Hankins. And that book, it took about two weeks to get here. So I, I finally decided 
I needed to pick up Enchanted Faces. It had been on my wish list for so long, and I have the little other pocket size, the Simply, um, I have this one, the Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls, and I love this one, maybe because it's pocket size, so I decided I needed to pick this one up because I needed another pocket size book. And you can't go wrong with Hannah Lynn. And if anybody has not seen Hannah Lynn, her work is amazing. These are very simple to color because they're small. You can take markers, gel pens, pencils, whatever, and just have fun with them. You can get this in the full size book as well. But I do also like that these have 50 individual pages so there's no duplicates which I absolutely love sometimes I'm a fan of duplicates but for the most part I wish that the all books were just a one one shot deal so yes this is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn and then I finally hopped on the wagon <laughs> and got this one so, I wanted it when it first came out, but I was like, I have tons of Hannah Lynn that I haven't colored. I'll just put it in my wish list and eventually I'll buy it. <laughs> so, I decided, okay, I need to order this book. So, it's Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions. Um, you guys have probably seen it all over YouTube and Instagram. I know a lot of people are doing a color along that the Coloring Diva is doing where you color certain pages a month so you can get through this book through a year. Um, I'm, I'm obviously really behind because we're in May and they've already done so many, but that's okay. I, I will just color it when I feel like coloring it, I think. Like, obviously, I'll probably do the graduation girl because uh, my son's graduating. But, yeah. They're just different things for every season. And they have um, a, simple a, a simple version and a more detailed version. There's the graduation one. This one's for Mother's Day, so I might need to color that one for Mother's Day. And she is kind of like spring-like. Oh, she's one of those ones that does the ribbon around the pole. There's a baby shower. Those ones must have been in April. But they go in order. So, yes. And I've seen lots of people color in this book and done amazing things. So I needed to finally pick it up and join the bandwagon. I also got this one, Springtime, A Whimsical Adventure. And this one's by Deborah Muller. For some reason, I thought I had this, but apparently I don't. And, yes. And Deborah Muller's work is very recognizable. When you see a Deborah Muller page, you know it's Deborah Muller. Um, it has lots of finer details in this particular book. You can use markers and things like that. My problem is, is when you color all those fine things, going back in and like coloring the grass or coloring the background sky presents a problem it just because it's like you have to dodge all of those little tiny things so it's tricky for me to color deborah molars i mean i like i like how they turn out and they're just so cute it's just a little bit tricky for me to dodge all the little tiny things and I think this book is really cute. Perfect for spring. And I think it's good for summer as well. Because we have some flowers. Those come out in the summertime. And a lot of these scenes could be summertime. Like gardening. We do that in the summer where I live. Like a tree swing. That's definitely summer for where I live. So yeah. This is springtime. A whimsical color adventure. All right, and then the final books are all Japanese coloring books. This first one I got from Amazon Japan. I really like the 
Disney Hatchet Heroes Pixel Books. And when I saw this on uh, Amazon Japan, that they had a color by number Disney as well, I thought, oh, that might be a fun one to try. And these look more like, they're off center and they look more like tiles than perfect squares. Well, this one's perfect squares, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna have to color some of them just to see. I don't know if um, doing like the X method would really work in this book just because it some of them are perfect square but some of them are not some of them are more like a rectangle and here's the back so you can see what images we've got and they also do these books and you've probably seen those ones before at least you've probably seen that one but just Disney characters and they have more of these. I just picked up one and thought I would try it to see what I think and how I feel about it. I love the Winnie the Pooh one. So that is this one and don't ask me the title. I do not know. I just put in a uh, Disney color by number and this came up and I thought, oh, that might be fun to try. So yes. Next one I got, can't really flip through it because there's plastic on it. Might have to open it. So this is Bunny Girl, um, but obviously it's, or I guess it's considered Rabbit Girl coloring book is what the receipt says. And I got this because I was hoping to color it for Easter, but it took a little longer to get to me than I thought, but that's okay. I can color it anytime. So, whoop, as I just flip it all. <laughs> all right, so we have some single-sided images. That's like an Alice in Wonderland. So these are single sided and there's also double sided images. Really cute. Oh, I might need to color that one for my birthday. This is really cute. I'm going to tab it guys. I didn't even know this one was in there. That one would be really fun to color for my birthday. So yes, I am tabbing it. <laughs> That's a fun summer one. I do like that some of them are um, on the single sided. So you don't feel like you have to use pencils on every single one of them. But even when you're um, using the double sided one, say you don't want to use pencils, you can always use Crayola super tips or gel pens. At least I like to. And watercolor. This one's kind of neat. It has like a grayscale clouds that would be really fun to take a pastel to just to see what it looked like or even the gelatos or gel sticks they're like blowing those to each other very cute they're so cute so that is this one so it's rabbit girl girl and then i got this one so this one the artist I know I'll say it wrong if I don't read it I know who the artist is she does the fairy princesses and the fairy tale books I think it's Tomoko Tishiniro Tush or something like that um this is like her only cutesy style book and um I thought I would try because I like cute coloring and I love her work and um that's a like the background stuff but these little characters are really cute these are the type of books that honestly will i ever finish a page probably not but i i'd love to just go in and like this one with the little pictures 
and just color these little guys and maybe frame them out. Not necessarily worry about the background, just, just color what's on the page. Just have fun with it. Here's all these little extra things that they give you. This was from Amazon Japan. I didn't know she did this. She's really famous for doing really intricate, intricate details on pages. This one's a little busy, but it's okay. Look at that one is really cute. So that is this one. I don't know the title, so I cannot tell you what the title is. But if you look up Tomoko Toshirno coloring books, let me see if I can pull one of the ones that I already own. Hang on just a second. Okay, I'm back. So this is um, one of the ones that she does. This is Tomoko Toshiro. Toshiro. And so this is one of her books. That This is her cutie style. So if you just search Tomoko Toshiro on um, Amazon New uh, Japan, this book will come up because this is one of hers as well. But as you can see, she's known for all these like fine details, but I was so glad to see that she does a little cutesy, more not as detailed, fun book. Yeah, very, very fun. So that is that one. And obviously this one's slightly smaller than the US brand. And then the last book I'm going to show you guys, I got this one, and you guys have probably seen it around YouTube. Uh, it's called Story of Precious Cats, and it says Kadoakawa, and, or it says Nelko and Nicole. So I'm not exactly sure, but if you put Story of Precious Cats coloring book, you'll probably be able to find it. Here's the back side. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, um, I don't know if lots of you know, I don't like cats, like real cats. Maybe because I experienced a childhood, a few childhood scary things happen. And so I, I don't like to have them around because they just kind of scare me. Because ever since I was a little kid... Um, like when I was really little, we had a big gray cat. It tried to smother me in my sleep. And I just, I have this fear of cats. But I absolutely, for some reason, love to color them. And I don't know why. <laughs> just, I don't know. I think they're cute. And their little faces are cute. So, yes, if so, if people look at my collection, they go, you have cat books? Well, Jamie, you don't like cats. Well, yeah, I don't like cats, but I like to color cats. So, yes, I got this book. Even though I don't like cats, I like to color cats. Because they're so cute. Now, if they made this one into a dog book, like a puppy book, oh, I'd be all over that one, too. Because I love puppies. Now, if they made it into a panda bear one, that would be even more better. But they're just so cute. Look at these Halloween images. And I have seen uh, Zucchini Kitty, she's coloring one of these images, and she's actually making it look like this kitty in the front. Amazing. I love that one. The fishing one. That would be perfect for summer. Little clubhouse. Cute. Camping. This one has one for like all seasons. Bet they have a birthday one in here maybe I could do for my birthday. There is a celebration. Oh, look at that mad tea party. Mad Hatter tea party. But yes, I have nothing against those that love cats. I just, I have a hard time with them ever since my childhood memories. This reminds me of dress up, playing dress up at grandma's house. I used to do that when I was a little girl. I think more or less I like this book because of the scenes. They bring back memories of my childhood. 
So that's probably why I like this so much. But that is the end of my haul, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys are staying with me and um, staying safe. So I will see you guys next video, and you guys all have a wonderful day. And if, like I said, these last ones were on Jam Amazon Japan, and oh, someone asked me how you can find Amazon deals. So when you pull up your Amazon account, um, on the upper corner on this side, when you click on that little menu button it will come down and there's a little thing that says today's deals if you click on that that it will pull up the deal section and you can categorize it to arts and crafts and it will show you all the markers all the pens all the pencils that are on sale and other arts and crafts stuff as well but um, it also gives you all the lightning sales that are going on and when they expire, like if it's going to expire within so much time, that's how I'm able to find those deals. And if you are a Prime member, it actually catches like after you've ordered so many deals, it realizes you like deals and then it will start sending you notifications that hey, you like pencil cases, these pencil cases are on sale. Or you bought a bookshelf, these bookshelves are on sale. So it, the notifications is really a prime member's um, perk. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of touch note on that because I've had lots of questions about how to find a deal on Amazon. And you can also just search colored pencils and if you go to the refine search, you can look up one of them actually says um, lightning deals. You can click on that or limited deals. You can click on that and it will pull those up as well. So there's ways that you can do it. You just have to kind of play around with different things on the Amazon website. Yes. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video and take care, guys. Bye.